guys, it's Gracie here, and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my summer bucket list video. So I have a bunch of ideas of what you guys can put on your summer bucket list or things that you can do this summer. So I actually kept my summer bucket list on my phone this year. I've done this for like two years now, and I find it a lot easier than like writing it out. This is what mine looks like, so I have like so many different things. And then I do it where I can check it off once I do it. So all the ones that have, that have yellow by it are the ones that I've already done. The first idea that I have is a drive-in movie. These are so fun and me and my friends actually did one when I went down to Vegas for a week. I know a lot of drive-ins are actually open now and they're doing social distancing so they just spread out the cars but... Check to see if you have a drive-in movie around you because that is a super fun way to spend a night. The second idea that I have is to have a bonfire where you roast like s'mores and hot dogs and whatever else. So we actually built one at my grandma's house because we're at my grandma's house right now. And we built one and we've done a couple of these and they're so fun and it's like such a nice way to spend a summer night. The third idea that I have is to go on a hike. We do this a lot because we love hiking and it's a super easy way to get your workout in without having to work out at home because the gyms are closed. You can get outside, It's the weather is so nice here, it's not too hot and it's just so pretty. The next idea that I have, the fourth idea I think, is to go boating. I know not everyone has a boat, but my cousins do have a boat and I go with them, but I know you can rent boats at a lot of places or like a jet ski or something like that and that is such a f good way to spend a summer day. We like to go tubing and I'll insert some clips of when we've been boating this summer so far because we've had some wild like experiences getting thrown off and stuff. <laughs> the next idea that I have is to do a slip and slide. I've done a slip and slide since I was a little kid and even if you don't participate in it, it's so fun for like your little siblings or little cousins or whatever. I know me and my cousins have done a paint slip and slide before where you just dump paint on, wear a white shirt and just go down. The next idea that I have is to go thrift shopping. Me and my friends also did this in Vegas and we actually found some cute stuff and a lot of places are getting open now to go thrift shopping. And, of course, they're filled because everyone is cleaning out their houses from quarantine. So there was so many options and they had a pretty good selection. The next idea is to go to brunch with friends. This is such a fun way to kind of get out and see your friends. And you get a yummy breakfast slash lunch in there as well. The next idea that I have is to make a summer scrapbook. Me and my friend are planning on doing one of these once the summer is over when I go back to Texas and I'm just gathering a bunch of pictures and things I would want to put in a summer scrapbook to remember. You can easily find a cheap scrapbook at Michael's. I think we got ours for $5 when they were on sale. They do have a lot of sales at Michael's so look out for that and then just make sure you're taking a bunch of pictures of stuff that you want to remember and then I'm pretty sure I'm just going to print out them all at the end of the summer and then we can spend a week just putting it all together, decorating it, and it'll take up so much time and it's something you can do at home so it's super fun. The next idea is to hike to a waterfall or just find a waterfall. I know that there are a lot of waterfalls around me because I'm in Idaho and there's all that type of stuff around here. The next idea is to go cliff jumping. Me and my friends did this. We brought like pizza and we drove out to this place and we just kind of spent the night there and we jumped off like 40 foot cliffs and it was a freaking blast. I used to be afraid of this because I'm afraid of heights, but cliff jumping is so much fun. The next idea that I have is to do paint twister. I've seen this all over Pinterest and I've literally wanted to do it for so many years, but I've never done it. And this is the summer that it's going to happen. I know it will. You just put the same paint of the color that's on the twister board and then you play and then at the end you're just covered in paint and it's slippery. It looks so much fun. I cannot wait to try it. The next idea that I have is to go paddle boarding or kayaking. This is such a fun way to get out and exercise but you're still in the water in the sun getting tan, you know. You know what I mean. I did this last summer for the first time and me and my cousins and my sister, we all loved it. The next idea that I have is to learn a new recipe or make 
like popsicles of some sort homemade popsicles whatever i think i'm going to do a future video about this because i want to do a video where i just do summer recipes and like healthy versions of summer recipes so again if you guys like this video then i'll do that video you could do like smoothie popsicles i've seen these on pinterest and you can just get like popsicle molds almost at like otter pop wrappers off of amazon for fairly cheap and then you can reuse those popsicle wrappers to make more popsicles another fun thing you could do is to go bowling i don't know if the bowling areas are even open around me but when they are me and my cousins love to do that over the summer because we just mess around the entire time. No one knows how to bowl. The next idea is to have a backyard camp out. I know I'm planning on doing this with my cousins and we love camping. It's also how you could do the roast, like the bonfire. And we're planning on just setting up a tent, getting our sleeping bags and sleeping outside in our tent for one night. We might you know, do a movie night outside. That's another idea is you could do a movie night outside. If you have a projector you could do that or we're planning on just watching a movie or a TV show on our computer and just decorating it super cute and doing like a Pinterest inspired outdoor movie night. Another idea is to play tennis. We love playing tennis. None of us know how to play. You just mess around. Super easy. It's completely free if you have a park around you, which a lot of places do. Another idea is to float a river around you. I know me and my family just did this a week ago or about a couple days ago. We went floating down a river in a raft thing that we rented. Or you can always just get like floaties from Target, which we also did. And you just float down in those if it's shallow and slow enough. The next idea is to tie-dye shirts. I know tie-dyeing is becoming like a huge popular trendy thing, but it's so much fun and then you get a cute shirt in the end of it. I'll show you guys one of my shirts that I've made with tie-dye. I did this a while ago and we like diluted the solution a lot so that it's pastel colors if you're trying to get a pastel color. And we got our shirts from Walmart for like $3. It's so cheap and then we got the tie-dye kit off of Amazon. Alright, so this is the tie-dye shirt I made. It's really light and the shirt's wrinkly, but it's like an orange color and it literally looks like an orange creamsicle. It's so cute. So my last idea is to have a capture the flag game. We do this outside at night with glow sticks and it's so fun. It lasts hours because Basically we just split into two teams and you try to find the glow stick hidden on the other team's side and you can't get tagged. And if you have a big group, this is this would be so fun to do in a huge park or a grassy area or wherever you can find. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these ideas and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications. And I hope to see you in the next video. Comment down below what you want to see from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye!